Every storm runs out of rain, just like every dark night turns into day. Complex ambition. Hope everybody's doing well. This is this Ooh. week's paid promoter snippet. If you like what you heard, be sure to click down below in the description. And also feel free to email us at complexambition401 at gmail. They gonna let me for my ambition. Shout out to everyone out there in the world. You guys can be anywhere right now, but you're actually here. And we appreciate it per usual. Complex Ambition. So, my name is YI. Bring you today. Mm. You're gonna listen to, mm. with us, mm. today, mm. Polo G's third album. Um, He's been cranking them out. My God, what would you even call it? Uh, they have the uh, rookie, sophomore, junior, junior, mm. junior. junior album. I never heard that <laughs> yeah, phrase know, in my I life. Never, I never heard it before. We invented it right now. The junior album, first one, we heard it. We thought it was flawless. We, Still think it's flawless. We 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 heard it privately. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We didn't react to it. Yeah. But the second one, we made sure to react to it. Yes. And the second one, it was very successful as well. Um, high streaming. In I, my opinion, and yeah. I think we both felt this way, that the first one, though, oh, was definitely more overpowering and more impressive, in a sense, than the second one. I think the second one was more commercial. Yeah. I also believe that it was even... When I'm thinking about it, it had, it had even more, like, um, um, softer songs. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. the content was a bit, you know... Yeah, like a love song. Yeah, a love. Yeah, he went, he, so, right now, we have the third project by him. He's really cranking out this music, and... He's very he's, cocky too. He's he's very cocky because he should be. I, I think he should be. Because, the name of these albums? Whew. Yeah, I think he should be. Because we have Die a Legend, we have the Goat, and now we have Hall of Fame. Mm. Hall of Fame. That's when someone, after someone retires. Mm -hmm. Um, so you know where, uh, where where if you if you're talking Hall of Fame, what's the next album gonna be called? This what you know what I'm saying like and, and he has this much confidence that he's like <laughs> you're running like, out of shit to yo you're, you're running out of shit like the levels it's so it's levels to this shit man and he's he's taking it to the maximum level so this has to be his best body of work yet and yeah. the best music he's and released we're gonna yet. hold that fucking to it though yeah it has to be rap star the single off the album main single that song is his highest streaming number one song in the country really this year. random really random I didn't expect it to be but. It's literally, it's about to hit, uh, I think it's at 90 million views, about to hit 100 million views. It's fucking crazy. This album has a lot of amazing features from Kid Ray, Lil Durk, Lil Wayne, the previously released single, Scory, I'm not sure who the fuck that is, G Herbo, Rod Wave, we heard him on Rod Wave's album, Phenomenal, The Baby, I might skip that one, Young Thug, Roddy Rich, and Nicki Minaj, the posthumously released mm -hmm. right here with Pop Smoke and Fabio. Um, so let's get to it. From the top, track one, Paints and Pictures. I always wonder why they don't put him in the same category as um, what's that motherfucker's name that that uh, that 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 dates that tennis girl? Why be in Corday? Oh, Corday. Why don't they? Why don't they ever put him in the same category? Because they rap about basically the same shit. Yeah, you know, and it, it's he, almost like he's he's in this sort of um, like almost a poppier category. Who Leroy? Uh, uh, Leroy? Polo G. Uh, who the fuck? Why be in Corday? Corday. Uh, I'm not sure why because he's really he's really lyrical and he's extremely and he's more uh. Like you can hear him more than like little baby. Little baby is very oh, he no, flows absolutely, a lot. Absolutely. Polo G has almost like the same flow. He's just saying shit and he wants you to hear. Uh because it's important. He has a good intro outro yes, to his album. Yes. Uh albums. And he knows how to create an album. You know, he really cares about the craft. Right there in the beginning, beautiful intro, very strong. Painting pictures, literally. <laughs> Moving on, second record, he put it at the top of the album. The biggest song of his career, Rap Star. You guys are familiar with it though. Yeah. 
love a hoe, I think fuck, she can't get near me Only bitch, I give a conversation to a Siri Lately, I've been praying, God, I wonder, can you hear me? Think about the old me, I swear I miss you dearly Guess that's how it sound when you win it. I ain't joking, do it sound like I'm kidding I've been making like a thousand a minute very strong. This was a strong record, but Very it's like strong. never would imagine. I was sh I was shocked when I saw it. Never like, comment down below. Why do you guys love that record so much? Polo G fans or people who are new fans to him because that's that type of record that is so big that there's a lot of new fans because of that record. I don't understand how. Though. I don't know. Was it TikTok or some shit like that? It must have been something. I don't know really. Um, this, this, it was a dope this, video. There's a lot of records with him that just say, even sound more mainstream than they say. I have a stronger hook. Have a, it's a great record. It's a great. But he had way more like mainstream type of songs, but they don't reach the level that this one has. I don't get it. There's nothing even that that really even. I guess the real the real you. is back. Yeah. I guess the real is back. I guess I guess I guess the, the we have the, Mr. Vill drop this year, so the, 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 the kids is back. want the content. Yeah. No return with Kid Laray, or Leroy, <laughs> and Lil Durky Durk. Crazy. Damn. Talking gang shit. A lot of oh Chicago my, shit. Oh my god. I don't know what he's talking about. Oh my god. A lot of that shit's alleged. Got three fifties. That's one fifty. Ain't no limit. I fuck with her. This is Woo! Woo! We going crazy. Yeah, we, that's what shit. He get thinking high to the wheel. Killers coming home with you all day. Till I'm spin a block till your best friend land under you. Don't got windy days in that thunder. I know little niggas on slam shit. No young thugs and gunners. We was in the field. Never go back. Leroy, fuck. However you pronounce, he had roaches in the crib and his mom was on drugs. You know how Australia is, man. Australia, that's a rough really ghetto. Fucking... <laughs> is he trying to beat Polo G or is he saying his life? Stop, stop. No, I'm really trying to understand it. Stop. Did Polo G write the hook for this nigga or this nigga just lying? Cause niggas gonna bop this stop, shit and stop. let that shit rock. Uh, Adam Twenty Two went to Australia, I believe, to to, to document uh, his life over there, some shit when he first came out. So I think he, I think he's poor, was, man. He was, he was. I he's think very he was, poor. I think he did come from a little a struggle. I'm not I'm trying to, you know, minimize his struggles and shit. I don't know. We don't, I don't know. understand. I hear the roaches <laughs> in Australia suck. Roaches in the crib. Woo! My mom just Damn. God. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh my god. That shit should be bigger than than Rap Star. Yeah. I love oh, that record. Man. Probably my favorite record so far Holy from the album. Holy shit. Strong verse from Polo G. Wow. Maybe uh contender for verse of the year. He wow. was going crazy. Yes. And then Lil Dirk had a really good verse as well. Ooh. Better than a lot of his verses. Yes. On the uh the voice yeah. of the heroes. Yeah, Go check yeah. out that reaction. The voice though nice. did his thing. That shit and the killer Roy. With the uh, with the, the hook. hook, fantastic hook. Thank God fantastic. he just did the hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes they overdo shit. That, if we would have done the fucking verse, oh my God, what's he gonna talk about? We didn't need that shit, but yeah. the hook was perfect. Like Andrew Sheen, I'll put a shot at her. Uh, baby, I'm a soldier. You won't find nobody solid. Love that bitch so much. I call the cheating with a shot at her. First of all, the flow he's hitting with he, these words, he's changing the the, the, the the ending of these words. Oh, what a, a, a shot at her. What a shot at her. You won't find nobody solid. Her. <laughs> he's making up words, this but it sounds good. good. This is good. This is an artist. This and you can't get more artist. toxic than shooting a bitch after she cheats on you. You know. Can you get more toxic than that? That might not. That might be peak toxicism. That's the toxicity level of the highest degree. But I understand it, though. What if you fuck I the nigga? I would do that shit. <laughs> Polo G, the G, we don't know what the G stands for, so he might be into that as well. Baby, I'm a soldier, you won't find nobody solider. Love that bitch so much, I call the cheating with a shot at her. I just go by morals, I don't care about who more popular. But it's all we miss, and shit we gay. Like, when I turn 18, I try to see how much my blocks work. I don't ever agree with black folks. I'm still gonna be right here if the rap game couldn't garbage up. Hey, boss, I'm with some. 
Fuck. He previewed that snippet as well, uh, the second verse, the beginning of the second verse on IG. Um, and it's for a reason, because he knows how good these verses are in this song. He killed that One shit. One of my favorite songs. I think by him ever. By him ever. By him ever. To be very honest, it was really well constructed by himself. That whole solid and he shut it Solid That shit was hard. He started it hard, and he kept the hook hard. He's one of the best right now. Oh, yes. I would say that. He's one of the best. Easy. I would, I would even Top I would five, even top three. W- Epidemic. This one, I think this might have came out before. The title sounds familiar. Yeah, last yeah. year. Damn. I'm so sick of farewells and R.I.P. You know it's risk from the windy city where you down to see the coldest shit. I'm so sick of farewells and R.I.P. Came out last year, but a really good record. Yeah. Um. So if you're new to it, you're going to be a fan of it because it's really well. So he's been rolling his album out since last year because literally we're halfway through the year already. And that's a 2020 single epidemic yeah. right there. Yeah. Um. That's crazy. But he gave you guys plenty of new records. This one came out recently, though. A single with Lil Wayne. It's called Gang Gang. I like the hook of this one. So used to them great clouds. I'm like, fuck around, drop the top of the rain. Just for 10, he not with the gang. Remember back then, I said, I'll be bang. One of them jakes, my heart like a wing. Put a lock on the gang. Hot shit from this Glock on the flame. When my niggas to the wheels fall off. Don't care if my ride on E. Gucci slides, Versace rolls. Palm trees, exotic hoes. That's dope. Man. Lil Rain has a lot of respect for these young kids, man. It's so dope. And Polo G, I believe that's his favorite rapper. Yeah. So that was, you know, peak, you know, moment in an artist's career. He did the same thing with Big Sean. Man. Remember that? When he yeah. was like, he was like, just because Big Sean doesn't have tats and this and that, y'all niggas don't respect him, put respect mm-hmm. on this nigga's name, blah, blah, blah. Like, he's really, I love it. I love and it. And he shows respect. It. There's not on some like, oh, this nigga's hot? All right, fuck yeah, it. I'm trying yeah, to get streams. Yeah. You can tell he's showing respect because the nigga literally redid his hook. Redid the hook. And at the end, shout him out. Polo G, Tunchi Lee. Like, come on. And Wayne seems wow. to never, like, he never, um, there's a lot of rappers who give you trash bars sometimes. If they don't really he doesn't fuck. waste any lines. He doesn't waste any lines with anybody. A any word. feature. Any feature. Moving on right here. Ooh, this should sound kind of exotic. <laughs> Uh, we do some expensive stunning. Uh, I got this dress from London. Uh, empty a clip or something. FM make them trip from money. I'm speeding my engine, homie. Throwing slime on the nigga like drumming. I'm with the cabbage, you know how we bumming. No. I'm from the last house, so broke, but that shit was disgusting. Like, boom, we make it hot. Damn. Yeah. Turn this white teeth to the moon. We bumming up like a moon. Like, boom. If I ain't living with me, Damn. I don't know why that's whatever had no silver spoon. Look at this shit, he might need Damn. a statue or something. Like, watch out for cap because he coming. Is this nigga the best out of Chicago right oh now? Oh my god! <laughs> my god! Listen, um... My god! This nigga, this is almost, this is almost like a... Damn! This shit sounds like some, me, I'm not gonna some lie, Fast me, and Furious yeah, shit. It's giving me Eminem vibes almost Ooh, too. Like okay, Eminem. Okay, okay. Like Eminem like, movie like vibes. Oh shit, like that old Eminem shit. Wow. Okay, I can see that. It gives me Eminem vibes. This is fire. This nigga's really getting better at making songs though. Not that, just rapping. That's what it is. Making songs. What it sounds like different fuck? people. It sounds yeah. like different people, but it's really just Polo G. Because he never layers his vocals like that. Him yeah. personally, he never layers his vocals it's like that with the really, auto tune. Really, um, yeah, really flat. Almost like the first album and the second album Damn. combined. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like he's, he's, like, he's like perfected it what 100%. he wants. Black hearted. Okay, now this is like some rock shit. The beast is back. I heard he been dissing on the squad. We left his mask. Duck his silver braces. Be precautious when the fans move. Them X pills so hot that I can't concentrate. I'm told some gang don't out of cake. Cause I don't think that's smart to sick. Might make a nigga do the Harlem shake. Make sure that girl is low. Keep your pole and always watch this long distance relationship with God. So it get hard to pray. You can't really play with me. I heard he been dissing on the squad. We left his mask. Duck his silver braces. Be precautious when the fans move. Wow. Cause I saw Scotty Pippen. 
do his trailer, so I was assuming that Scottie Pippen might do some, what do you call mm, the interludes? Okay. So we never know, because it's called Hall of Fame. Okay, okay, wow, okay, <clears throat> wow, wow. Phenomenal record. Yeah. What the fuck is happening really right now with Polo G? Um, if I had a record label right now, I think it would be the, one of the first artists I would ever sign. Oh my god. I have a hot take, but fuck. man, I'm waiting to finish this album because... You got a hot take? Yeah, because this, this, this is... What the fuck are you? too highly, this highly impressive. This nigga is TMZ. feel like Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> Broken Guitars featuring Scory. It's coming up below. Who the hell is Scory? This nigga with this rock shit too, man. This is kind of crazy, man. From handcuffs to rollies can give you the old me. You still wasting my time. I feel that you owe me. God. No, 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 no. Is Polo G the greatest artist in the world? What the fuck is happening? This sounds like some Post Malone shit. Handcuffs to rollies can give you the old me. You still wasting my time. I feel that you owe me. Walking through the wire, just follow your desire. Uh -uh. I remember high speeds on the jakes. I had to get shot, make the stone shake. And Shorty ain't got no guns. He just doing what his favorite song says. Uh -huh. Very left, left field. Wherever where, your left, Stick it with my you left, right. my, that's your left. Very left field. Le very left field. What very the fuck? Left field. But I love it. Very left field. And then the random motherfucker is actually good. He sounds like a young Polo G. Reminds us of an artist out of uh, our city, uh, D Gomes, who also has a song with Polo G. Coincidentally, as well. That's crazy. Very reminiscent. Um, hmm. Probably his boy. A hmm. lot of these artists do that. Hmm. And, he, and if it is his boy, I commend hmm. him. Hopefully he's his artist. It really sounds like D. Gomes, though. Because you can literally, you know, see success with that. Because, all right, I'm going to have a random ass, you know, guitar type of rock track. But I'm going to put you on it, nigga. You're going to spit that shit. We're going to do this. Because he, he didn't put him on a regular Polo G track. He put him on one that's going to stand out. So I like that. I'm shocked, to be honest, he did that shit. Because this shit is so left field. Man. Wow. I this is it. this is the third album that's gonna really put him on. I can see it. I can see this shit working. There's a lot of songs here that is hits. There's a lot of hits on this bitch. A lot of high streaming records. A lot of hits on this Polo bitch. Polo G. Don't get me wrong. Um, shout out to them Zia niggas. I know you love them. You hang out with them all the time. <laughs> Come show us some love too, please. We love everyone. Um, we'll treat you right. I'm we, pretty we, sure we, you're familiar with my face as well. <sighs> I'm not gonna touch upon it. Let's not let the let the audience Let's know. Not get in there. But you know, Polo. Um, yeah. This record as well came out. Slow it down. Okay, okay, okay. Don't get no fuck. If 12 Damn. coming, we gon' take him on the chase. I ain't get no fuck. And them killers gon' jump out the way if I give him a grip and little nigga shit. That sounds okay, really good. Okay, okay, okay. That really sounds really good. Them niggas must have did that shit underground. And them killers gon' jump out the way if I give him a grip and little nigga uh. shit. I ain't really got rich out the blue. If you just on the neck, get your scalp hit. You be better off watching your mess, bitch. Real killers don't care about no class kid. Wait, slow it down. Okay, okay, okay. Don't get no fuck. If 12 coming, we gon' take him on the train. Nigga, come on. What is going on? Every song is fucking different, too. Yeah. Every song is different. That one was four months ago, top of the year. Um, get no fucks. Album okay, of the okay, year okay. contender immediately. Yes. Immediately. You might have spoiled the hot take. E that's the hot take? Yeah. That, that shit, that's obvious, nigga. That ain't no hot take. That's a cold take. But that shit is okay. That, no, 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 no. I want to agree with you. No, 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 no. But we got 10 records left. None. Oh, they, they, whoa, 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 you're lying. <laughs> you're, it's 10 records it's left. It's 20 songs an album. Go part one. What? Featuring G Herbo. Chicago connection right here. Can't fuck with too many. I feel like I'm too authentic. Pink slips, shouty business, made back it ain't running. When I'm topping, you know, I feel like I'm going to send it. Herb smacked. I'm gonna I'm keep on saying Lil Herb. Fuck that G Herb shit. Yeah, Lil Herb. Lil Herb. Fun like Kobe the mixtape. Rest in peace, Kobe. God damn, um, that we shit never, met never him, came out. Growing up, we felt like we met that nigga. Oh my god, you know how many years like he was, he was saying that shit? You know how many years he was saying that shit? Nigga was in class. Uh, damn. Um, do you know the answer to question two on page yes, 35? Yes, absolutely. Born like Kobe the mixtape. Uh, coming soon. Uh, it's coming soon. When is it coming? It's just coming Niggas soon. Niggas got the tension for it's Lil Herb. It's coming soon. And Lil Bibby. Let's not get into it though. Oh, no, 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 no. I think he's 45. Little baby, come out the closet with your age. 
Yeah, I love it a lot. G Herbo. I love Polo this. G I love this. I love here. this. I love this. I love this. I love this. Impressive. Let's go. Another feature. Heart of a Giant featuring Roddy Rich. Rod Wave. I confuse them niggas. <laughs> Nigga, what the fuck? My bad. Not Roddy Rich. Nigga, what the fuck? Rod Wave. Damn. Damn. Shout out to Rod Wave. I love Rod Wave. Yeah, I thought Roddy Rich. Roddy Rich is He's coming up, but guys. Sorry. Makes sense, though. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Perfect okay. collaboration. Yes. Rod that Wave works. sounds perfect on that song. It's a Rod Wave type of song. It was a trade-off. You know, it's Man. a trade-off. One, one is on one album, the other one's on another album. Yeah. I like that. Not Let's sure go. if Polo G's making fun of his weight, though, with the title. Heart of a Giant, and you got Rod Wave That's on it. That, you're Polo stupid. G, you're, you're, stupid. you're a hell of a comedian. Yeah, you're stupid. Very slick shit, but... That's funny. Rod Wave can lose that weight if you're he wants. You're fucked up. He's fucked up. <laughs> Heart of a Giant. <laughs> Heart of a Giant is... He's not a giant. But he's, he's Rod Wave, suited! Hmm, interesting. In my opinion, that might be a skip for me. Um, it was a freestyle, and he said it was a freestyle. He said it was a freestyle. Okay. So I guess I would I would have I would have passed on that one. I'm not sure why there's so many tracks in this album. An album that was so good in the beginning. I'm talking about 10, yeah. 10 11 tracks in the shit. I hope he fantastic. doesn't ruin it now. Yeah. Um, everything else is flawless. Me the energy that goes that is going down. That's the yeah. Problem. Maybe he was zooted when he was rapping. Won't you just shut the fuck up? <laughs> 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 that literally might be it. Watch that nigga say in the Breakfast Club. Yeah, I was actually zooted when yeah, I was, I was rapping zooted, zooted freestyle. Like, because why well call it zooted. zooted freestyle? Party life, featuring the baby. Uh, you fought the hardest fight. Wipe tears from your eyes. It feel good. Don't lie. See you here now. Watch the game ball. They all care now. And every claim falls. We don't care about. Party ball and part time. Me on the band. So hard eyes for my bed. Trying to make this one night. It is like I'm living. I would do hell and I can back. I think it's true, she said she never coming back Run two or three weeks ago, that pussy back for me Even when it's through, the flame ain't hotter than this Weed, prescription drugs, I had it all in my piss Shoot a nigga on stage, I turn your show into a shit show, nigga Yeah, this bitch ain't no baby from the get-go, nigga Fuck your win, but I ain't trying to party with them lanes I'd rather kick back on my peep, cause family matters like the Winslow's, nigga Nigga came in different I did not expect the baby oh to say God. some shit like how you said that shit Talking about he don't wanna party with you niggas Fuck you niggas, niggas hated on baby from the beginning he only kicks with the family like the Winslows. My God. The Winslows, nigga. I thought he was going to be more, more mainstream poppy type of verse. Nigga, I swear he could take it there. I, 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 no, no, no. I was he gonna, does it all the time. I was going to get annoyed. I was going to get annoyed. Uh, exactly. I, I was going to hate, like he said. No, no, I was, Sorry, yes. the baby. When I was going to hate on the verse. When he started saying that shit, the nigga started hating him from the beginning. I was like, oh, I was shit. Like, this nigga talking My about. energy switched up completely. It was personal. We, are, we loved you from the beginning. But there's a lot of shenanigans you've been You've been pouring. very mainstream, but I get it, nigga. You're getting that money. I, I love that. I understand. Yeah, this bitch ain't no baby from the get-go, nigga. But it's still that nigga, your kids, your mama, and your bitch, no. Killed it. Hard. He I'm telling you, do. these motherfuckers must have heard this fucking album, or something's going on where they respect this nigga heavily to give these niggas this probably nigga pulling up on verses, niggas. bro. He's probably pulling up on niggas. He seems like that type. He takes this his is time. He, he looks like, yeah, he doesn't do emails and shit. He's a like true him. artist. Moving on right here, we have another true artist, Young Thug. Mm, oh my god. Might not get truer than him. This is called Losses. This nigga just has the whole industry on his album. If Young Thug starts speaking like Mandarin, you already know this shit gonna be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Really talks with semi like high them times and I'm dancing with the devil. Forbes list, I'm trying to be one of the richest, I can't settle. Rockstar, lifestyle. I hate that song that I lost, bro. Oh, that ain't coming. Fell in the rules, pressing the sign green. Yeah. I hate 
That nigga sounded like uh, some rich gang shit. That yeah. sounded like some rich gang young yeah. thug. That's that old school young thug. When a nigga starts sounding stupid, he's going crazy. The features mm. are featuring. Mm. It's not no throwaways. Because mm. we've had a lot of young thug throwaway features. Mm. Unfortunately, it happens. I get it. Get in the bag, rushing, you're in a rush. Quick 15, whatever. But sometimes niggas are so artistic that you think that shit's fantastic. Yeah, in the you moment. might think it's hard, but yeah. it's not really hard. But everything here. Hey, man, in my heart, uh, she said me she had no teeth. <laughs> that was like, whoa, this nigga loves elderly women? You know, it's like, whatever. I get it, because it must feel amazing getting head when you have no teeth. Oh, we get it, we get it, we get it, bro, we get it. We get, let's know the next track. That you make me feel. Damn. When it's time to show affection I take you where you need to go Tell you whatever you need to know Trips to Dubai I'll do anything to keep you satisfied Tears of a warrior, I some battle cry Different holes in liquor All night I stayed up, staring at your picture No road to forever, we can't fall by the wayside Real street nigga love you like my first gun Felt it like a guardian angel that when I needed you Never had to question a thing, I know that she the truth Love you like a religion cause I believe in you that that's phenomenal every record by himself has been really well um orchestrated well produced um and maybe even the best records to be honest is the ones by himself that one right here reminds me of his last album where it's like a love song fame and riches with rod weight there we go with, the with roddy shit. rich i should never put this in roddy your head rich. did i put this in your head right i just see it everywhere i go now every I time i see up. rod I see Rod, Roddy, Richie wave. Father God, I just pray for forgiveness. We fell off and she got strange cause of distance. We feel like you had it harder, we felt pain was the death. For my dogs, I give up all the fame and the riches. Just remember my name when I'm finished. My feelings are just great cause that's what stars go. Insecure, but he's so scared to let his sky show. Posted on the strip, selling Demi Lovato. Pull up, take his soul with That white nigga, that white. I went for new man, I'm over this road. Here we go. Just wanna fuck the Jamie Foxx and Kanye West slow jam. Roddy Rich did his thing there. Um, that's the shortest verse from Future. Shortest feature so far. It sounds like a, a quick 16. Quick 16, but he did his thing. It was dope, though. He did his flows, his melodies. That nigga always sings random shit. That nigga, ride, ride, ride. Jay, pay. my baby. That was fire. I want to know how he found that side of his voice. That's not his normal speaking voice. That's not his normal yeah. rapping voice. And he's like, he's he's uh he's confident because a lot of mm. niggas would, would be very scared to yeah. play with their voice that like that. Different. Especially being from the streets, yeah. Compton, whatever, allegedly, all this gang shit. But he does not give a fuck. That, I, love, I love when he does that. Right here, this is the biggest feature of Polo G's career. Nicki Minaj on a record called For the Love of New York. So you got the Queen of New York on a record called For the Love of New York. Wait, For the Love of New York? That's a show. I love New York. Oh, her, that's what it's that's called. That's her shit, right? That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. She For the love crazy. of Ray J, I think it was called. And then, wow. Let's get into this song right here. For the love of New conspiracies, York. Conspiracies, conspiracies. The oh. Barb's is back. Dance hall by? A, a little boppy. Little, 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 uh, party a little, next a door. A little grind and, 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 and hump. Some niggas song missing some Jamaican shit. They bother will kill this shit. How many times we went through some things that made me see you in a different light? I ain't signed these hoes, I'm just living life. But even when you mad, girl, you still so beautiful. Ballad things from New York. You said you never make me cry. That's right before you made me cry. I never should have gave it to you in the first place. And why the fuck I'm in with you in the first place? Who took your surname, kept you from them bird brains. Now you in my burn book, fuck you and what's her name? You triggering my anxiety in the worst way. I'll always be the one that you let kids away. Put you on my favorite, pull out the kid out, and I might just let it spray. Is she coming at Safari? Man, I don't know. Whoa. All I know is that I'm kind of let down by her. She I, feel like, I feel like she shouldn't have been rapping. She should have been singing. Uh, On this? Harp, yeah, nigga, some melodic shit. She's go with that melodic shit. Because, nigga, this shit is like a, a nice vibe. You know what I'm saying? All Pablo G is saying some real shit. It's like a nice vibe. If she just rolled that beat, nigga, that would have been real dope. I know the girls can really sing along to it. Mm. Because it's very clear. But I wish she can just ride that beat a little bit more with some melodies. 
Damn, kind of interesting was, take. Don't kill him, Barb's, because you guys are very relax, Barb's, chillax. Um, I liked it a lot. No, 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 I liked no, 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 it a lot. Vibes, no, she just came. I like the way she came in. Shit, some vibe shit. She was a. Uh, also, like, because she has, a, she's she's rapped recently on those. I guess we got, yeah, we got three new songs recently, but she hasn't rapped like this in a while. It was almost like personal, um, or even if it's not personal, like a whole sort of theme to the song. Because I guess, I guess she was trying to be the female, and he yeah. was already the male. Yeah, he didn't come in like that too much though. So I was shocked by her coming in like that. That's why it makes me believe that this is kind of personal. But if it is personal, who would it be? It would be Safari, you know. Um, I'm pretty sure people are gonna run with that online and play with that sort of type of idea. But I think she's obviously in good space right now, so I don't think she would really be taking jabs at niggas right now. Like she's good off that. She's married. She has the baby. Papa Bear, shout out to Papa Bear. I know you're watching this, Papa Bear, on, on your on your on your tablet. She's been promoting this as if it's her album. She's been loving um the idea of featuring with him. Like it's been like a month of promotion that she's been posting that's shit, dope, dope. and pr- for this song, so there's a lot of anticipation for this song. People are, she's been trending because Nicki Minaj is dropping Friday, but you would have thought it was an album. Yo, but it's actually just a feature on Polo G's. That's crazy, album. bro. That's that's crazy. Um, there has to be some business behind the scenes because this album yeah. seems to be produced well. She must very love Polo well. G. I think she or she, she, she showed love for him. Some shit Everyone around him sort of loves him. We love him. But it's like it's like shocking how these features have been like really um even if you're not, you don't love them, you're not impressed by them, there's something about them. Barb's comment up below. How do you feel about the verse? Do you think it was lackluster? Did you expect more from Nikki? Would you rather have had like why I said Nikki sing more, maybe on the hook as well? Um very very interesting feature. She could have given us some Caribbean vibes. Mm, she is from Trinidad. Yeah. You know, um so and she has given uh Songs like that before, so she could have. How do you guys feel? For the love of New York, Polo G's probably at least instantly. That's gonna be the biggest song off the album right away, just because of the name. Just because of the name. Just because yeah, of the name she's alone. Pushing it so much. Yeah. So, speaking in the future tense, congratulations, Polo G, on a platinum record. Here we go. I think she was just messing with it. You know what I'm saying? They just put it at the end. Uh, I like that as well. Um, wow. I'm not fucking dumb. I know my fucking music. And it's crazy because she said Toxic, right? But the song's not called Toxic, but he has a song called Toxic. Yeah. And then Rod Wave said Heart, Heart Black or Black Hearted. Um, and then he has a song that's called Black Hearted, but it wasn't that song. It's kind of weird. It's kind of almost like the energies of the vibes, world. Connecting vibes. Yes, it's really wild. I'm telling you, they might Maybe they heard the whole album. I'm telling you, nigga. They... <laughs> Because they're fucking saying the line, the title of the songs. So it wouldn't be coincidental. Um, For the love of New York, Barb's, where you at? Second to last record Mm. featuring the two um, drill New York scene stars. Rest in peace to Pop Smoke, the biggest of them all, the best of them all, in my opinion, my favorite. Posthumously released right here. I'm not sure if it was recorded after, before. We're going to listen to the lyrics and see it. Um, and we have Fabio Foreign, but he's not really foreign. You didn't even need Polo G on this song. I just took a drop from the Rock in New York with the gang, and we on some woo shit. If it's a problem, my young nigga shoot shit. Sticking out like a date up at Roof Chris. In a few weeks, it's more than a few risks. Make a hit or throw up, cause my coupe sick. I can't fuck on that hoe, cause I'm real rich. I got down Chicago and Michigan, mad with Polo, and we on some woo shit. Interesting. I feel like that song was old. Mm-hmm. Um, he saved it to drop it now on his album. Um, you think Five Year Olds on it? Hmm, could be. Polo G wasn't the highlight. I'm not gonna lie. If not, address it here. Polo G yeah. wasn't the highlight. So I like Five Year a lot. Five Year Old did his thing. Yeah. Um, almost better than his recent shit, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. I think it's 35, I believe. Yeah. I think he's the oldest rapper out right now, currently. <laughs> Stop. I swear to God. Stop. I swear to God, the nigga. I'm not lying. Rapper out, Curly, He's nigga. the oldest rapper. He's like Udonis Haslam in the fucking in the NBA. Pop Smoke, the beautiful uh, Pop Smoke type of hook. 
Sounds like maybe it was a part of his verse and then they just made it a hook. They chopped it down. It could have been that as well. That's what it gave me. It wasn't a horrible Polo G verse. It was just like, you can kind of tell like, hmm, what is this? Like, out, of, out, of, out, out of pocket, of, especially yeah. with this album. It doesn't kind of flow. Um, maybe this, this should have been called For the Love of New York. Like, you know, mm. may, I should have maybe gave this nigga the titles for this album. He, got, he has it kind of scrambled, yeah. um, to be honest. That should have been For the Love of New York. Come on, guys. Bloody Canvas, the last track on Polo G's third album. Here we go by himself. Let me tell you about a young nigga. He was only 14. Don't fuck with niggas. He stay social distance like he quarantined. Then his daddy game banging one day. He might take his spot. Five years old and he taught him how to aim a Glock. But through his childhood, he was bad but innocent. Playing basketball with his homies running scrimmages. Till one day the ops, they got tired of getting beat up. They big homies gave him guns like man going like they street up. But his best friend Jacob wanted off from the crowd. Took a walk to the stove. Headphones banging loud. When he looked up at the car, that's when them shots went back. killed his friend and you can ha you have um real footage at the end there so it's actually a real story really happened um really well really well done really well done beautiful picture painted oh my god um we're talking about we're talking about top tier lyricism the ability to paint a picture in that capacity <sighs> layers to it too we're bringing in different characters. If we're talking about from a storyteller perspective we're bringing in different characters different plots different scenes different and he just does it all so well. He should have called that song Paints and Pictures. He called the first one Paints yeah. and Pictures. Yeah. That's cr I'm telling you, these song titles are like off. This album had a bit of everything. The last song right there, you gave us a full-on storytelling type of song, uh, King Von, where King Von mm -hmm. does uh, the mm -hmm. crazy story, the all those stories, his rapping ability is almost like an old-school type of NWA style where he's, he's telling these stories full-on from beginning to end, no hook. Um... But it still sounds hard. It's like it makes you pay attention, and he gave us the, uh, that here. Uh, uh, Joyner Lucas also that, does that pretty well. Oh, absolutely, as well. A lot of rappers do, a that. Lot of rappers do that pretty does that well. Very well. Beautiful uh, way to end the album. Um, impressive way. Um, the, I would say the first what 10, 11 tracks, absolutely crazy. Yeah, flawless. Really showed. It sounds like the most recent work too. Mm -hmm. And it, and it, and it really sounds showed, polished. It, it really yes, exactly. That's what exactly it is. It sounds polished. It sounds like it honestly probably w was in the hands of a lot of different people though. Your debut album was classic in my opinion, Die a Legend. Your second album was in my opinion uh, kind of questionable, but you had a lot of impressive, you know moments on it. I do think that it was kind of underrated still, but this album is like a combination of both elements yeah. where we have him rapping and we have him rapping hard, but he still has this sort of mainstream appeal here almost in every record because they're all different. So it's mainstream in a sense where it's like any ear can kind of gravitate to this as a whole. You know, we have the dance hall sort of attempt. We have the rock and roll attempt. We have the storytelling song at the end. We have the, you know, the pop sort of uh, single type the of Chicago records. Drill. We have the drill record with the drill, maybe record King G Herbo. I would skip Zooted Freestyle and I would maybe skip the Pop Smoke record just because yeah. um, it's on the Paul G album. I believe there's three or four of them I would skip because the rest are so strong. They could live yeah. on their own. Boom, and maybe the last record are like my favorites. Yeah. Potential album of the year yeah. right here. Right now, I can put it up behind, because I still love the J. Cole album. I'll put it behind the J. Cole album, and I would put it in front of the Little Dirk and Little Baby album. I would put it in front of Little Dirk's Baby album. I would put it behind Rod Waves. Yeah. Hall of Fame. How do you guys feel about the album? This has been Complex Ambition. So, my name is Ryan. They gonna love me for my ambition.